for this. Happy birthday. Memo. I know we got the skirt it's memo. It's your birthday today. It's my birthday, yes. yes. Thank so you. So what do you do on your birthday? Do you, do you go all out? Do you have big plans? I'm kind of a boring lady, I do. turns out. Yeah. I'm a boring lady. And yeah. today, you know, the movie coming out is yeah. this is the best birthday. That's kind gift of the great gift. I've ever been. Yeah. Yes, totally. I mean, this, you were already incredible before, but this is literally, I feel like waitress and just the getting to know you more as an artist and the scope of your talent like has blown up your career in such a different kind of way. Like it really is a blessing to have people like you always had that talent, but to be able to show people oh. like that's a big gift and it's such a blessing for a birthday present. Yeah, Amazing, and, now it's right? a, and now it's a movie. They're doing the, so it's basically they took what, what it is on stage and then yeah. made it a movie, right? Yes, so when oh. we opened after the, after Broadway was closed in the, during the pandemic, heard yeah. of it? Pandemic? Heard yeah, it? yeah, yeah. <laughs> The world is going great. Um, <laughs> yeah, so after we um, closed, we got the opportunity to reopen. And so when we did, it became like a very important um, intention for us to get to, you know, have this captured. And so yeah. it was kind of an all-star cast. And we, we got back on stage and we took four days and we shot some with an audience and some that were just set up. So we got to bring the cameras really close to the action on stage. And um, yeah, it's very handmade. We've been working really, really hard on this. I love that though. The handmade is the best because you really get in there, especially if you take that time to take those extra days to really get close ups on people and really yeah. see the emotion. Exactly. It's like seeing it in a different way. It's like, I love when they theater, do this. You're, you're sort of spitting to get to you're the back. Emoting, of the room. yeah, yeah. But in this, you sort of get into the action in a, in a different way. And, and it came out so beautiful. I'm super proud. So. I'm super proud of you. That's so cool, man. You're just so gifted. And just for everybody that can't get to Broadway. <laughs> get here to see a show. Yeah. So to give them that opportunity to be a part of the ride, because it's such a huge, successful hit and it touches so many people. I know I covered that song and girl, I'm telling you what. Oh, if you think I haven't watched you sing that song 3,000 times. If you think that I literally, I was like, I had to not, I closed my eyes for the entire thing because I hadn't seen Waitress yet. And so I was like, I really didn't know what I was walking into. And yeah. that song is so Beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh my God, thank she you. used to be mine. If you know what I'm talking, like it's like the most amazing song. Thank you. I literally like I got through it once, and I was proud to get through it without just completely breaking down because I'm an emotional nutcase. But Girl, yeah, it's get to know me. My cross to bear. Yeah, yeah it's like whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. I'm but the, with you. this is a great birthday present. But I hear that you're a December baby, so near Christmas, right? Yes. So that has to be kind of hard. No, my mom was very intentional about making sure, like, I never oh, got December. birthday paper, like I never got um, Christmas paper wrappings. You know, like my my birthday gifts were wrapped in birthday paper. Yeah. And, um, I actually love, because I love the season, I love this season so much. I love that, you know, the decorations are out and we're all like looking forward to yes. New Year's and Christmas and the holidays. It's just like a fresh beginning. It always yeah. feels like a fresh beginning. That's why I yeah. love Montana so much because it snows there like all the time, it's snowing right now. And it's just like, you get there and it's like, it feels fresh. Like yeah. everything is new. Just wet. I love just that. Yeah. Fresh and wet. I love that. Yeah. A little different, but yeah, I'll go with it. Um, but <laughs> Musical Waitress. You can now see it in theaters for a limited time only. So this is a huge thing. Like I said, a huge like pivotal moment in your career. So is it hard to like, cause this is like kind of the bookend of it, right? The final chapter of it. It is, there is something, oh, it, there is something kind of bittersweet about it. I think there's a very real knowing that this will be the last time I'm on stage in that role. Yeah. Which doesn't mean you couldn't go on stage. Do <laughs> I do, I want to do better. I, do, but, I, do. Um, yeah. I think this will be the last time that I, I'm in those shoes and um, I nothing has changed my life in a more profound way than working on Waitress. It really has, it's reoriented everything about me personally, professionally, mm -hmm. and I just really feel so grateful to be a part of the story of the show, to carry on the legacy of Adrian Shelley who wrote this beautiful film, yeah. who's no longer with us, but we get to share this incredible story about empowerment and learning to love yourself and um, it's just a, a, an amazing story to be a part of, so I, I feel so lucky. And it brought me back to the theater. Is it? It is an amazing story. I did see the movie like long, long, long ago, but I'm saying the music, like you just, you forget how powerful it is until it's done so well oh. that you love. It moves you in such a different way. Like that's, and maybe I'm just biased, but but <laughs> I but I, I, I am. I just, it's when you go and the songs really just transport you, and all of a sudden you are just taken somewhere else. It's like, the thing that that's theater magical. does that I, I don't know any other medium that quite touches it, but m music, I mean, it's our yeah. 
first language almost, you know, and it, it stirs something in people's souls and it allows them to feel in a way. And I think we, as a global community, we need to be in touch with our pain and our, our resiliency. And mm -hmm. um, so I think music, even in a musical, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are like musicals. Yeah. <laughs> Not oh, into it. No, I have friends that are into that or don't, don't do that as well. But when you see it done properly yeah, and like, yeah. well, you're like, no, that was executed yeah. nicely. Yeah. yeah. It's you're a, able to escape. Yeah. I think a lot of people have a hard time escaping into like, all of a sudden they're singing and dancing. I know. Like it's like, yeah. I'm yeah. like, be a kid for yeah, a minute. Try it. It's yeah. like, very fun. You're, you jaded man, you jaded <laughs> woman. I was like, yeah, just let it go. Yeah. But I, you also have the, the which is the thing too, because you met your fiance. I Right. That's I met Joe Tippett. Yeah. yeah, and that was in the beginning, right? That was in the yeah. very beginning. Yeah. So good. Look at that beard game. I yes. know. Uh, he was yes. shooting a like a western at the time, so his beard was like getting longer, longer, longer. That's longer. awesome. Are you gonna work on that show for a long time, or what do you think? <laughs> no, no. Oh, are you a person? I'm a person that loves it. I love. Hair. I love it to an extent. It really was like. It oh, was it like starts we had to, to get, collect like, the meal. Seat on the plane for his beard. Yeah. It's, it so it's getting... when you're at a meal with him, and you're like, it's in your beard, man. <laughs> totally. Yeah, yeah. It's like... It smells like dinner for a while. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's like mm, I'm stealing last week's yeah. pasta. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, Sarah posted this on um, her and Joe's eighth anniversary. Feelings on wet sponges. <laughs> so very particular feelings about wet sponges. Okay. What's happening there? Well, what? Okay, so. It seems like a in small a kitchen, problem. In a kitchen sink, okay. there is a sponge generally. Some people are spongeless, but we have a kitchen sink with a sponge. Of course. And Joe um, really has strong feelings about wringing out, making sure that the sponge is very, very well No, of course, or it smells. Yeah, well, I'm the person who's like, whatever, it's a sponge, like I wrung it out, I forgot to wring it out, whatever. It would drive him crazy, so now I have made myself a little lamb. We got in like legitimate arguments about the sponge. I'm like, dude, it's a sponge. Like I'm literally, I'm like, well then we won't have a sponge, and I threw the sponge away, <laughs> and I, <laughs> And then I made myself like a like a homemade laminated card that says "Ring out the sponge, Sarah," and it's at. I wish I took a picture. I would show you the picture. I, I mean, isn't it hilarious the things that make us? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm 100% with him in that. Yeah. I, yeah the, the sad. I the can't sad stand the smell of sour I rag. I don't. I don't yeah. blame you. And the sad realization yeah. is, the more I tell this story, the more people are like, "Yeah, babe, you're wrong." <laughs> we side because we are team Joe. Yeah. So I have to ask. Do you have new music coming out? I'm it's been a minute, it. I and I want to hear it's, something. It's wor I'm working yeah. on it. I'm working yeah. on it. It's kind of slow. You have to wait till it hits, so you want to do something. Really, like it's it's in the like percolating stage. But in fact, you know, just a few days ago, I was working on something, and um, yeah, I think it's taken me a long time to figure out what I wanted to say about this time. Like, I was a yeah. person who, during the pandemic, got very quiet, and I knew a lot of artists who like really went to the pen and paper and like started generating a lot of music, and I felt like catatonically depressed yeah. and had nothing to say. So I think I'm at, you know, I'm at a place now where I'm starting to like process and actually go through what do I have to say about this time. Yeah, I think that's important though. I think people are trying to push stuff out all the time. Yeah. It's like, don't push it, like wait till something, like even my last circle, people were like, I was like, well, I had something to talk about. I was, yeah. It was like something that time. was weighing on me. So yeah. that's why. Yeah. I think it's important to wait for that because then it, 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 I don't know, it translates better. and People connect yeah. better with it when it's that raw feeling of emotion of wherever you're at in that chapter of your life. Because it's not, yeah. we don't live on that cycle, you know. I yeah. think it's, we're artists. Yeah. We get to be flighty. Exactly. <laughs> That's my excuse.